Hi everyone, if you saw my recent art haul video, you saw that I caved in and purchased all four of the Holbein Irodori gouache sets. Each set has 12 tubes and they each represent the traditional colors of the seasons. So there's four different sets, each with a different season. I originally wasn't going to buy them, although the colors look very pretty, but then I get them all at about half the price. And that means that each tube was a little over $3, which is a real steal, so I couldn't pass on that. Before I did that, I checked that I didn't have those colors before. I do have a few tubes of the regular Holbein gouache, and um, I didn't have any of them. So I did swatches for all of them. I ended up doing a double page, and on the left page I did the, the colors that I already had. And um, looking at them, there are some very similar colors. They just have different names. I can see a slight difference in them, but they would have been easily mixed with what I already have. That said, again, at the price I got them, um, I think it was uh, a good deal because when I run out of one color, then I have something very similar or easily mixed that I just got. So I did a few paintings with those just for fun. I mean, I knew what to expect already because I've used Holbein gouache before. It's a very creamy gouache, uh, most of the time nice and opaque. It's very good quality and very enjoyable. It's easy to spread on the paper. You don't have to add much water. It's, it's a pleasure to use. So I used the um, season colors uh, mixed, you know, different seasons mixed together on my tan paper. And then after that, I did a couple paintings with just one set at a time. So this one is with just the autumn set. And then this one is with the summer set. And then I ended up with uh, two palettes of uh, leftovers. So I combined them both and I made this uh, last painting. While doing the swatches, I noticed that a few of them aren't very opaque, but most of them are. And when you mix them together, then uh, uh, they do become a bit more opaque. But the thing is with convenience colors, like all of these are pretty much convenience colors, there are usually mixes of already several pigments. So if you start mixing them together, like different tubes together, you end up with quite a few pigments mixed together so you gotta be careful that you don't obtain muddy results because the higher number of pigments you have uh, per color the, the muddier it gets. Most of these colors are pretty light fast according to the rating on the tubes. Three of the sets come with a metallic one uh, so I've got an antique gold an antique silver and an antique rich gold and they are absolutely beautiful. They are very opaque and very shiny. These will be a very nice accents um, when I figure out how to use them <laughs> or what to use them for I should, I should say. So yeah, I had fun. Um, Nothing new here. Again, it's a Holbein gouache. It's all good. <laughs> it's good stuff. I recommend. If you can get those half price like that, it's a really good deal. If not, you know, they might not be necessary. They're fun. Convenience colors are fun to learn. It's always recommended to use uh, more traditional colors like, uh, you know, primary colors and all to learn how to mix the colors and all that. But it's up to you to see what you can afford and what you want to play with. I don't regret anything. Have any of you tried those uh, Holbein sets? 
Which one is your favorite? What's your your favorite set of colors from this uh, this line? Autumn, summer, spring, winter. It's a, it's a hard one to pick for sure. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are very generous and would like to support this channel, you can always click on the thanks button right next to the share button. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye.